vectors using the TI-89 graphing calculator. For this video and video similar to these, visit the website www.titutor.com. We'll use the TI-89 to find the magnitude and direction angle of a vector. The magnitude or length of a vector a comma b is given by this function. We'll put in rectangular coordinates x comma y and the calculator will return the magnitude or the length. The direction angle theta satisfies tangent of theta is equal to b over a where a is not equal to zero and it's given by this function. We'll input rectangular coordinates x comma y and the calculator will return the direction angle. Next we'll talk about horizontal and vertical components. The horizontal component of a vector u having magnitude u and direction angle theta are given by this function. You'll input polar coordinates r comma theta or you'll put in your magnitude comma your direction angle and the calculator will return the horizontal component. The vertical component of a vector u having magnitude u and direction angle theta are given by this function. We'll input polar coordinates r comma theta and the calculator will return the vertical component. Let's take a look at an example. In this example we'll find the magnitude and the direction angle for vector u which has a horizontal component of 3 and a vertical component of negative 2. First we'll open the angle menu and in order to do so we'll hit second and math which is located above the 5. We'll scroll down to angle. We will scroll to the right and we'll select option number 5. I'll press enter and now we'll enter the coordinates 3 comma negative 2. I'll close off the function and press enter and we have a magnitude or length of the square root of 13. Next let's find the direction angle. So here we must set the mode on our calculator. So I'll press mode. I'll scroll down to our fourth line. I'll scroll over to the right. And degree is what I want. So I'll simply press enter. Next we'll open the angle menu. So once again it's second in math. Second in math. We want to select the sixth option. We'll enter our coordinates three comma negative two. I'll close off the function and press enter. In order to get the decimal value, we have to hit the third and enter. Notice that the direction angle must be positive, so we'll add 360 degrees for a direction angle of 326.31 degrees. Next we'll find the vertical and horizontal components for our vector W which has a magnitude of 25 and a direction angle of 41.7. So once again, we'll open the angle menu. So that's second and math. I'll scroll down to angle and I'll move my cursor to the right. Next, we'll select the third option. Now we'll enter the polar coordinate 25 comma 41.7. We'll close off our function and we have a horizontal component of 18.7. To find the vertical component, once again we'll open the angle menu with second and math. 
I'm going to scroll down the angle and right click. Now we're going to select the fourth option. I'm going to press enter. Next we'll enter the polar coordinate which is 25 comma 41.7. Close off that function. I'll press enter and we have a vertical component of 16.6. .6. Thanks for watching.